it feels more linked to the first record than the second record, I'd say. But it's definitely a, a you know a change in the way we've worked. We did definitely deliberately tried to go somewhere new. Um, we're still the same band, you know, still the same sense of like melody and I guess drama and kind of atmosphere on the, on the, across the album. Even it feels like the kind of the atmosphere of the band has even been ma magnified a bit with this record. It's kind of even more kind of cinematic and dark and tense, which is great. And it was one where we had to. Um, we had to take the song by the scruff of the neck instead of a lot of the other songs kind of like the song took us because it's very groove based um, but with this one we sort of like had to think okay let's be sensible here it's not working <laughs> so let's uh, and we just cha changed it a little bit and it ended up just being a, a little little weird pop song I mean we've always liked that I mean in, even when we're using more guitars or the guitars are more up front we've always liked the energy that kind of mm. club music and that, that kind of rhythmic the rhythmicality of those, some of those songs has, and I think we've always tried to, at, in times in our music, blend the two together. But with this song, I guess in this, with this record as well, where it's gone instrumentationally, it, it's kind of it's more obvious than it's been before in our songs. Yeah. So we wanted something that was energetic and instant, and just a simple idea. This that would be instant, recon, instantly recognisable, I guess. So yeah, they're running around LA. Um, it's, fun, it's fun that like I've heard about six or seven different interpretations of it, mm -hmm. which is always kind of, it's always kind of good, you know, you know. I, I watched the video and it, I, my first thought was, it's a lot of guys running. <laughs> but you know, others are sort of like, oh, it represents life and love and all this, you know, and um, a journey. But you know, that's, that's what it's all about, isn't it? There's no pressure from our label or anything like that as well. You know, we've got, we've got kind of a solid base that we've had since 2004, essentially. And you know, they've, they've got a screen to sort of like, you know, the people up higher who uh, uh, pay the bills, so to speak. So. Uh, you know, I think if if they wanted us to make a commercial record, then uh, they didn't put any, any pressure on us to do it, and we certainly didn't bother. We've got more faith in our fan base as well. I think a lot of them are going to respect the fact that we've done something new, and I think a lot of them are going to like it too. Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, no, no, not worried about it. No, of course not. Um, um, but we're aware of it. I don't really know what else to say. Um, what can you do really? You just have to, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again and we just want to keep ourselves interested and excited and you know we all think this is the best thing we've ever done so that's sure all you have to worry about. Really. Sure people respect that you know that you know you need to, the artists are in charge at the end of the day, we're in charge of the music and the last thing you know would they really want us to just end up producing something that's stale or would they want us to do something that excites us mm. you know and you can't really make if you if you're bored, then you're going to sound <laughs> bored on record as well. You know, people don't want that. Surely, do they? Do they want, really want us to regurgitate re, re, regurgitate 2005? I don't want to do that. I think um, I think I think all the best bands, you know, evolve in some way and test themselves and move forward and make changes along their careers.